Halo 3, ODST was the first game to implement Firefight, and now it's back on the MCC on PC as well, so in this video we're going to go into all the details about it. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about Halo 3 ODST Firefight, and what makes this Firefight so different compared to all the other ones in previous iterations of the same mode. Oftentimes with games, the later editions of it are generally improvements, but everyone kind of holds ODST Firefight in a special place, and I think in this video we're going to find out why. Alright guys, so we jumped into a game of ODST Firefight. Now, ooh, we got a rocket launcher to start off with. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, we're playing this on the PC flight right here. And uh, honestly, a lot of people do hold ODST Firefight as the best firefight in the series. And that's totally understandable because the cool thing about these modes too was also back then is that uh, these like PVE wave defense modes like Call of Duty Zombies, Gears of War, uh, Horde mode, and then Firefight was that there was a bit of a survival aspect to it. Like you're put into the world against AI enemies and you just try to do your best to survive through the whole thing, which uh, later on in the series kind of became a little watered down in my opinion. And I think many other people felt the same way because of games like Reach and especially in Halo 5 where you felt like you're kind of more just going through the paces and playing through where in this one, since you're, I think it's maybe just cause you're playing as an ODST and your health doesn't regenerate. And I think maybe just like the arsenal of weaponry that you have and the enemy types they have to fight against, you are get bombarded like I am right now. And you have to really kind of focus to try to stay alive. Now, this is a uh, matchmaking on the flight as well. And so uh, this is a standard mode you'll find in the release version will be the heroic version. So we're playing on heroics, nothing too crazy challenging, but there is legendary as an option as well. Get on my face, bugger. If you want to guys challenge yourselves as well, which I highly suggest you do, because I feel like Firefight in ODST, that's the one you really want to try to challenge yourself. And something about playing as just like a regular ODST DST rather than a Spartan kind of just helps play into that more survival feel with this. Look at these grunts. One at a time, serving up some pain, Barlas. And there are some issues with the fight as well currently with ODST. Oh, look at that headshot. Get out of here, Broody. Uh, one of them was that the grenades were not flying as far as they're supposed to. This one looks like that's the proper grenade arc. Before, they were going about half distance uh, during the flight. They even patched that up as well. What the hell? I've never seen a boot do that. Oh, God. Is he coming at me with grenades? I think he was. Yep, he was. God damn it. That's another bug that's in this flight as well, where sometimes plasma grenades will just not render out. And so sometimes you're like, I can't tell if just like it's a grunt running because they freak out because their leader was destroyed or they're actually trying to suicide me. So hopefully before release, they fix that because that's something that absolutely needs to get fixed before release. But yeah, that's why we play this game though. This is also one of the known issues. So 343 3 knows about it. And I'm pretty sure that's a game affecting bug that they will certainly have to fix before the release. Oh God, and it's a chieftain. Oh my god, he dunked on me so hard! Dang, we lost a lot of lives already. But so that's kind of one of the parts I was telling you about, like how the survival really plays a factor in this game. When you come across a brute chieftain in this game, you don't just shrug it off like you do as a sparring. When you see it as an ODST, you're like, oh crap, that's a brute chieftain. And especially with these engineers that provide uh, over like a invincibility shields to them. Oh my god, you guys saved so quick. That's it just, you know, adds a whole other level of strategy and difficulty to the game, which I think a lot of these uh, PvE game modes, especially in Halo, I'd say miss out on. Also, there is a bug in here as well, where if you kind of watch the recall right here, this is a bug right now where the recall of scoped in weapons, I think for the scope, for the science SMG and also for the ODC Magnum as well, that there is increased recall for some reason. This could be something tied to the frame rate or something like that, but 343 is aware of the issue and they are going to probably, I feel like that's something else they would have to fix before releasing this game. Obviously you can still see I'm shooting fine, but also I'm playing on PC, so it would make controlling things like recall much easier to do so. Well, let's pick ourselves a sniper up here. There are also just various different weapon locations where goodies will spawn up like you saw bottom at the beginning of this video but there was a rocket that spawns up down there sniper rifle spawns up here and so i kind of like that consistency of weapons now i do know that like 
Reach also has a very similar thing with uh, weapon drops coming in. And also, obviously, with Halo 5, you had your rec weapons you get to utilize, which was a cool way to get a chance to utilize your rec weapons, because a lot of times I didn't... You know, it, might, it makes some other weapons that normally you wouldn't use throughout a Warzone match in Firefight, you know, very useful. Say, like a uh, White Scar, I believe it was called, which was like a plasma caster, but, you know, obviously much better. But it did a great job of clearing out enemies, where in Warzone, not so much. So, you know, it gives you a chance to kind of play around some more weapons for Rex that you might have not been utilizing previously. Oh god, I'm getting bombarded by invincible freaking buggers. Oh god, my screen's red. There's so much screen deflection happening here, or screen blurring happening here. Okay, we gotta take them out. I like this, like, this fact that, you, like, when you see, like, an engineer or something, you have to, like, prioritize them because you know you're gonna have to start wasting a lot of bullets if you don't take those things out. So it just kind of helps add more variety to the gameplay rather than just straightforward. See that thing, shoot it, you know? Is Halo Infinite gonna be featuring Firefight? I hope so. I would really like to see it happen in this game, happen in that game. Do I think it's a necessity? Not necessarily. I want to see find some cool way to make some cool new mode that kind of makes it kind of substitute Firefight. Almost in a way, kind of like how Warzone substituted for BTP. Obviously, it wasn't the same experience, so people didn't care for it too much like that. But you, you get what I'm at, where I'm talking about that kind of stuff. Oh god, here we go. Like We got one of these chieftains in with a fuel rod, but we got him pretty easily. Again, like, these guys, these chieftains, when they have their gravity hammers, man, they have some freaking hops, and they will absolutely annihilate you. One thing I would like to see more in this version of uh, Firefight would be a little bit more variety and styles of rounds that you would see uh very similar like i remember like in black ops one with uh zombies in that mode in that game you would have the dogs round which would completely mix up your gameplay and just try out something completely different that you have to do something completely different that you would normally wouldn't have to do against just regular zombies which if we did something something similar like that in say halo infinite if they have firefight that would be i think a very necessary <gasps> thing oh my god we're gonna fall to our death no as the issue with i feel with this version of firefight is that it can get a little samey as in each round is kind of the same thing obviously they do add some variations when they comes to enemies you face a little bit like oh you have a, a chieftain here instead of just regular brutes or jetpack brutes in this round or something like that it's a little bit of variation not really too much i'm talking about something drastic like okay this is the vehicle round or something or this is the flood round or something crazy like that you know what i mean having the flood in firefight would be absolutely amazing in my opinion which i would really like to see that in halo infinite if this game mode even comes back. Which I would have a strong feeling Infinite will have Firefight just because of how, you know, people were begging and begging 343 to bring it back in Halo 5. And I think just in that case alone, I think we'll see it in Halo Infinite to an extent. Not totally sure. Obviously, that's another thing to worry about for the game devs to create. Because this is a completely set for set of modes. Maybe you can just bring out, pull out some different uh, campaign you know set pieces and make them playable levels another thing i also would like to see a little bit more variation on when it comes to ogc firefight would certainly have to be the skulls that you see that pop up on the left hand side uh they are the same set of skulls every time now i'm not quite sure if they do different kind of variations of the same skulls every time um as we do know like throughout the years there's been more skulls added to Halo over the years since Halo 3 ODST, which is cool. Like the Acrophobia skull, which is pretty freaking cool. We can just zoom around like it's nobody's business. Like you're just flying around like just like a broken unlimited jetpack, which honestly, it's kind of fun. And I think it would be kind of a fun thing to see happen in a uh, firefight mode. But yeah, obviously being able to set that or maybe uh, before the round, like your team is able to select which ones you don't want for a round and stuff like that. So each round can play a little different or, you know, just add some more variation to the game. That was, that was a way to add more variation in this gameplay, which is to turn on skulls, which, yeah, but, you know, it, I don't know if it necessarily uh, increases your, you know, the ability to do better at the game. I feel like it just kind of makes it just trickier without really making it more difficult, if you know what I mean. Uh, things having, like, the catch skull on, where, you know, the uh, enemy starts throwing more grenades, and let me tell you, they... They are chucking grenades when that grenade when that grenade skull is on. It is a bit ridiculous at some point. I'm just dodging grenades rather than actually shooting anything, which is obviously like you know a fun variation. But like I think it kind of artificially makes it more difficult rather than actually having the gameplay itself. If you know what I mean, kind of makes it a little bit more gimmicky. But if you want a true challenge of this mode, 
Highly suggest playing on Legendary. Legendary ODC Firefight, that's where the true challenge comes in. And that's where uh, I think you'll see some true content and stuff like that. We might even try to make, see if we can make some videos right now. <gasps> this box coming in. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. No, I died again. So we have two lives left. One round to go. And then we have this completed. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Oh yeah, reinforcements coming in. Doors open up. Chuck the grenade. Oh god, it's a chieftain. Run. Run. Oh no. Ah. Back up, boy. Don't mess with this fire. Last you can see what I'm talking about. How they just take some... Oh, God. And then he gets... An There's another one. Oh, my God. You can see how I'm talking about. These guys get extra tricky. Let me try taking them on. Uh. Oh, I missed. No. Uh. Where's an airlift where you need one? Get me up here. Get me out of here. He's... Oh, my God. They're both after me. Cut the corner. Get up top. There's one life. We have one life left to spare, and then we're on our last lives. Oh my gosh. Are they gonna come up here? I can't believe I just got away from two chiefs. Oh, okay, that was a, that was a, it's just the engineer. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Whoa, dude. Chill, chill, chill. We're on the same side, brother. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the music that kicks in as well during ODST Firefight is so good. It really helps set the mood and really just kind of get you excited. You're like, all right. Last round, we can do this, boys. Hurrah, hurrah. So another thing I would also would like to see is, um, obviously with these skull notifications on the left side, it's nice to know what skulls are on, yeah, but, um, you know, when I press tab, it just kind of takes it to like this menu screen, which I don't really care. It doesn't really give me any kind of information really to look into or anything. Uh, if there's a way where I can probably do like a quick view of what each skull does, because, I mean, I can't just think off the top of my head what every single skull does in ODST Firefight, you know? There's so many skulls, they all do so many weird things. I would think to just have some kind of description, like if you press start or something like that to check the score or something. You can't even check the score right now, which I would really like to check that out for sure. So now we have all skulls on right now. Uh, big yikes. See if we can survive for 60 seconds now. Usually it's like a grunt apocalypse like round for the last round. Uh, but we'll see how well this goes. Uh, with all skulls on though, just because they're grunts does not mean they're easy. <laughs> Look at all those grenades! Oh my god! <laughs> no, he stuck me! Dude, some of these, I swear to god, some of these grunts need to try out for Major League Baseball because these guys have a hell of an arm on them. And we're dead. Yeah, we're big dead. Cool. All right. Well, now we just gotta watch other people play. We are all done except for this one guy. There we go. He survived. Even though we didn't make it to the very end, our teammates survived. We made it through. So ODST Firefight, how does it stack up to the other versions of Firefight? Well, I still hold it as the best version. As I feel like Halo Reaches is a bit more arcadey. I do like how they expanded on it, like adding vehicles and different kind of weapons and larger play spaces. I think that's really great. Uh, though I feel like the uh, challenge just isn't quite there with uh, like there is with ODST. And Halo 5 was kind of more shoe-in to kind of also feature Rex. Uh, it, does, it does a pretty good job if you just want to jump in and just mindlessly kill things in Halo. That makes sense. But I think if you want like a true challenge and have it really kind of feel like you're surviving these waves, I think uh, ODST Firefight does it the best. If this mode comes back in Halo Infinite, which I would highly suspect that it would, at least at some point within the 10 year lifespan of Halo Infinite, I would like to see the difficulty of ODST, but also have the large scale gameplay that there is in Halo Reach and Halo 5. But obviously having maps that are tailored to the experience, I think what really helps bring out the gameplay a lot more than what we saw like in Halo 5, where they just took Warzone maps and just slapped on some Firefight. But let me know in the comment section down below, which version of Firefight is your favorite? I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. If you miss any videos, and you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.